Well, hi there. How the heck are you today? Lori here on Vancouver Island. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm really glad to see you. My channel is just about life. It's about my life. I live on Vancouver Island with my mother and my husband. <laughs> in the Forester, uh, and I am working on getting this vehicle ready to camp in for a week as I make the trek from Vancouver Island to Alberta for my sister's memorial. So, well, it's not, a, it's a celebration of life. So my sister's celebration of life. If you watched my video yesterday, you saw I took, so I took a vacuum cleaner and a rag and I cleaned the car all up and I got it all done. And then I tested my, oh, look, I missed the spot. <laughs> And then I tested my window shades that I purchased, and none of them are going to work. So I did have a couple of really good ideas uh, passed to me. One person mentioned Stephen uh, said I could use cardboard, which is a fantastic idea. We definitely always have cardboard around. Uh, well, except I'm using it right now in my garden. <laughs> and then... Oh gosh, who was it? Was it Hope? It might have been Hope. I'll have to go back and look again. Hope for Life Walker. I think that's who it was. Said that I could just use garbage bags, like big black garbage bags, and just tape them up every night. So that is also an option, but I do have that uh, Reflectix material, and I have seen, I have watched people make uh, window shade covering things with those before. So I think that is what I, I mean, and that's what I got it for. Um, that's going to be one of the very few things I actually purchased for this trip. I'm going to make use of the things that we have already on hand um, and not buy a bunch of stuff, which I usually do, <laughs> which would totally defeat the purpose of camping to save money on hotel fees. Anyway, thanks for coming and popping in today. Let's get to, well, I'm going to be measuring these windows and making some templates and yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. So there I was sitting back there in the car with that roll of paper and thinking to myself how difficult it was going to be to try to put my paper up into those little things from the inside and try to measure them. So I did the only logical thing to do. I measured them from the outside because I'm pretty sure it doesn't have to be perfect. So I've made my templates. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my Reflectix out and start cutting some of these pieces. So I'm gonna get that done and then I guess we'll, we'll look for some duct tape or come back to it another day. <laughs> okay, so I'm in here in the car. And uh, apparently measuring from the outside probably wasn't the best idea because, uh, yeah, if you look at this, it's quite a bit of difference in size. But let's try sticking this up in here. I did have to do a little bit of trimming on the back ones, but everything fits pretty good and it will stay. I might have to use some, I have some um, putty that I think I will use uh, should I need to. That should let me sleep. Anyway. Yeah, those are gonna need some tacky stuff. And that's going to fall if you open that door. <laughs> well, with that, I'm just going to close the door on it. Well, 
No, you had it the right way. Oh, you got to do that every time? Well, I'm only going to be having that up when I'm sleeping. Well, you know how many times you get up in the middle of the night? Yes. Okay. So every time you get up, that falls down. And then you got to put it back up and put it and Close the door again? Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to close the door again you anyway. in there, try to get situated. Yes, that's what I'm going to have to do, honey. <laughs> can, you, can you take pictures of that? <laughs> uh, can you do a of that? Can I do a video of that? I'll try. I'll set the camera up on the dash. Yeah, that'd be interesting. I haven't checked on this yet, so. Well, I tried the magnets, and they won't work for holding up that curtain. So that's why I went ahead and brought Hold these front curtain. ones out. I was gonna put a my oh, that thing across the front there. There's probably something inside that that's gonna block the metal. Yeah, there must be, because it the magnets. It certainly didn't magnetize it at all. But, all right. but yeah, I mean this will work, okay. right? And I've got one for the front. Where's this one? It fell. Some of them I'm going to have to putty in with my little sticky putty. I'm not going to use the permanent Velcro thingies. Why? Why? Yeah. Because I think that it'll be easier to just use the little bits of putty. You know, whatever. And uh, I tried using painter's tape, but it didn't work very good. You need to take a roll of my duct tape. Yeah. No. I don't really want to be sticking duct tape on the inside of the car, though. Well, it's fine. Right, those little tacky bits that I have will work just fine. See, like this one in the back, you can see it's starting to fall. So I'll have to tack it up along the top. Yeah. At least in a couple of spots, right? Just to keep it up there. When I'm sleeping. Same with the side ones. But the front and the side, um, they should be fine. All right. Whatever. <laughs> now I gotta test my air mattress and put it in there. How loose you made this? Way to go. Oh yeah, it's so loose, honey. It is. You're so full of it. Look at the mark you put in it. I didn't do that. You did that. No, you did that. Things in the mirror may be. <laughs> Closer, closer than, than I think. appear. I need a backup mirror, honey. After you crash and burn it. That's right. <laughs> well, it didn't have that notice on her window, on her mirror. So it's it not my fault. This one. Does it? Yeah. Well, maybe it does in the other one, too. <laughs> it does on the passenger. It doesn't on the driver's. driver's oh, driver's it doesn't? No, okay. Mm -hmm. I was more worried about the awning. <laughs> Practice my backing up because I'm gonna have to back up when I'm camping. I'm not very good at backing up. I think it's a girl thing. I I shouldn't say that because I know there are plenty of women who are much better drivers than I am, but <laughs> I haven't practiced it a lot, especially like using the mirrors to back up because apparently that's how you're supposed to do it. But I'm learning. <laughs> Anyway, that's going to work for my car, for being able to sleep in it. And, I mean, I will have to use some stuff to tack them up, so I'll just make sure I take stuff with me that will allow me to tack it up. And, yeah, I'm going to live with that. <laughs> Well, I think it's going to work. Uh, it looks like my templates, well, one of them, the, just the very back windows were a little out of shape that I had to trim them off. But the other ones fit just perfectly by measuring them on the outside. So uh, there is that. That little one in the back is a little differently framed on the outside than on the inside, I guess. Anyway, you might have heard me mention that I'm going to use, like, tacky stuff to, to hold some of the ones that I had problems with falling in place. So what I mean by that is this stuff here, it's 
fun tacks, putty poster, poster putty <laughs> is what I have. And this is what it looks like. It's just these little, little squares of putty and you just pull them off. <laughs> just pull off a little square, make it into a little ball and stuff will stick to it. Da, da, da. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this up on the windows and I'm just going to put, you can use it over and over and over again. It doesn't go bad for this piece here that I just took off. I'm just going to put it back. Oops. <laughs> I'm just going to put it back in here. You could just use like a baggie or something, but I'm just going to put that back in there just like that and it'll stay there and it'll be fine when I'm ready to use it. So I'm just going to take this whole package of of uh, putty poster with me, poster putty, putty poster. I'm just going to take this whole thing with me, and that's what I'm going to use to stick them up. Like the very front window, it needs a couple of tacks in a couple of different spots. And I don't want to be putting duct tape in the car or using tape on the windows because that's just going to be a mess to try to see through the next day. So... I think my little putty, my poster putty, will work just fine. It's clean, it's reusable, it's non-toxic. So that's what I'm going to do. And now I've got the second stage of getting my car ready for car camping is done. I have, it's all clean, and I have figured out how to black out the window so that I'll be able to sleep. Uh, so I guess the next step, really, before I do too much else figuring out what all I can fit in there and what all I can take with me, is to set up the bed or try setting up the bed so I can see if I think I'm even going to be able to sleep out there <laughs> because uh, I'm a little spoiled. I have a sleep number bed at home, and so I'm a little spoiled uh, in my sleeping habits, so we'll see. Uh, I think that, you know, you can adjust the level in an air mattress so that it can be softer or harder. So I might be able to muck with that because basically what the sleep number bed is, is an air mattress um, enclosed in stuff. And it's just, it's set on an automatic um, weight. <laughs> you know, you can sit on, when you sit on it, it automatically adjusts it to whatever your sleep number is. And you can play with from 100% firmness to so soft you're sitting on the on the bottom where you probably don't want that because you might as well go 100% hard if you're just going to sit on the frame. Anyway, I'm not going to edit this. <laughs> this is just going in at the end. And oh, haircut time coming up, guys. I'm getting my hair all cut off. Again, I'm going to go back to my hairdresser. I you know I told you guys a while ago that I was going to let it grow out because I couldn't really fault her for not being able to cut my hair properly after Dave and I butchered it in that video that you can see. Uh, I'll put a link up there. I think it'll go up there. But anyway, I'll put that link up there. But so yeah, now it's grown out quite a bit. And I don't I still don't like it long. I mean, I, I don't mind the way it looks when it's long, but I, I don't like it. It's a pain. It's heavy. Um, I just don't like it. So I've gotten spoiled by having short hair for so many years. And I'm going to go back to having short hair. So, yeah, you'll see a whole new me uh, Saturday night at the Vineyard Chicks. And so, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that really quick. Saturday night um, at 9, no, at... Yeah, I think at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Oh, I need to double check that. Uh, I'll leave I'll leave the information down below, but I think it's at 9 o'clock Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Time. Uh, the Vineyard Chicks are going to be putting on a concert and playing some of their songs um, and showing some of their uh, music skills off. And also, they're going to have some special guests. They'll be talking about that kind of stuff. And it's just going to be a fun, a super fun night. And so I'm going to leave their link for that down there as well. And you guys can check that out and come join me on Saturday night. I'll be there hanging out and supporting those lovely ladies. And let's see. 
I think that's about it for today. I'm going to say goodbye and thanks for watching as I get the Forester ready for car camping. I do appreciate you coming to hang out. And if you have any questions or ideas or or uh, anything that will help me with this car camping trip, I'm certainly open to hearing ideas. I did have several people give me some different ideas for the window coverings. So if these don't work, I will have a couple of backups in place, like extra garbage bags that I can just tack up there um, in case something happens with my, with my Reflectix. But anyway, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much. Take good care of yourself, and I will see you soon. Bye now. Mm -hmm.